so this statement we want to test whether we can use shorthand uh, assignment operator in this place or not reverse is equal to reverse into 10 plus reminder okay so that can be written as reverse star equal to 10 plus reminder okay so i am replacing that statement with shorthand assignment statement okay so let us execute this code let us see what happens now it is asking enter a number okay so i entered 121 121 is not a palindrome number 121 is not a palindrome number right so it says it is not a palindrome number but it is a palindrome number that means it is not a giving the correct output okay so why it is not giving the correct output where we are uh, printing this message here we are checking original number and the reverse number we are checking here okay so original number reverse number is are they equal it says no and directly it says not a palindrome okay so that means the reverse number is not equal to the original number okay so to confirm this let us just uh, print what is the reverse number we are getting from the function okay so this is how you can uh, debug your program okay so what number the function is returning just you check here you just uh, print a reverse number reverse number is equals to okay so percentage ld just uh, i am checking what number i am getting from the function so that i can confirm why it is not equal both original and the reverse number we may think that our logic is correct and this function is returning the reverse number correctly okay so we'll mostly concentrate only on this part okay or mostly we concentrate on this uh, while loop why is there any syntax error or any uh, calculation logic error that is how uh, we think okay so the basic thing is first better you check what reverse number it is returning so that you can easily confirm so now i am re printing reverse number let us just check out now reverse number is equal to zero yeah this is the problem so that means this function is returning reverse number as zero so initially we said reverse number is equal to zero no so it is always zero it is zero that's why it is returning zero okay so why it is returning zero that you need to understand here okay so that means you cannot write this statement why you cannot write okay so here you should understand can any any, any guess any guess any guess this point because uh, uh, anyhow we uh, come to this program i am just uh, highlighting this point Please remember this is very very important point yeah any guess why it is not uh, giving the correct number to know this we need to go back to precedence operator precedence okay so for that you need to uh, check out a precedence chart okay so not ascii chart precedence chart uh, we need to check operator precedence chart okay precedence and associative chart in a c if we look into okay so then you will come to know yes okay so can you dot the one so that it can be easily yeah so i got some messages because reverse is multiplied by its all the values after equal okay so why it is multiplied means you need to understand the uh, operator precedence okay so i request all of you to go through operator precedence and every day you have to look into this chart operator precedence chart okay operator precedence chart you have to look into every day okay so here here it is okay so i'm just highlighting this operator precedence chart okay so just see here operator precedence okay so where our uh, uh, shorthand operator and our addition operator will come here okay so addition and multiplication operator just see here okay after this multiplication sorry addition subtraction 
multiplication division and modulo division comes here okay then comes our addition and subtraction operator okay but where are our uh, that means the first arith arithmetic operators have this precedence then now you can see here assignment shorthand operator plus equals to star equals to minus equals to slash equal to okay so they have the last priority they have the last priority okay so that's why what is happening in our program now we'll test here okay so what is happening here because now we have two operators here star equals to and we have plus operator okay so since plus has highest precedence since plus has highest precedence what is happening is this 10 plus remainder is calculated first okay so 10 plus remainder means what is happening 121 means you will get one first so 10 plus 1 is 11 okay so then this 11 will be taken like this reverse is equal to reverse into 11 what is reverse value here reverse value is 0 so 0 into 11 is 0 that again we are storing back in reverse so what is happening 0 will be stored back in reverse so next time what happens 12 you will get no so remainder means 2 you will get okay so then what happens here 10 plus 2 will be calculated 10 plus 2 means 12 12 into reverse is equal to reverse into 12 reverse is 0 so every time it is becoming 0 0 0 and finally then it is re returning a 0 okay so that's why since this plus has a highest precedence than this one okay so then we cannot uh, write uh, in this situation using shorthand uh, assignment operator. Clear? Okay. So this kind of uh, question sometimes in MCQs it may be asked. Please remember shorthand assignment operators or assignment operator has the least priority. Assignment operator has the least priority, last priority. See here. Okay. Then comes your bitwise. Left shift and uh, right shift. All these are uh, only shorthand assignment operators only last priority assignment operators and uh, after that comma operator is there comma is the last one before that you have assignment operator okay so generally we don't uh, uh, come across comma operator okay but remember this shorthand assignment and even assignment operator has the last precedence last priority it is calculated at the end last all other operators have higher precedence than these is it clear? Okay, so that's why in this case we cannot uh, write a uh, using this shorthand uh, assignment statement. Okay, clear? So that's why I am just uh, removing this from here. It avoids confusion. Is it okay? Still any doubts? No? No doubts? Okay, right. So then related to this, there is a one more program that is program program to check whether the given number is Armstrong number or not. I am strong number or not. I am strong number or not. Whether the given number is I am strong number or not. Okay, so what is I am strong number? Armstrong number. One fifty three. Okay, so that means one cube. This is one power. That means sum of cubes of individual digits must be equal to the given number. Must be equal to the given number. Then that number is called as a Armstrong number. That number is called as an Armstrong number. So again, you need to get individual digits here okay so this is one power i'll just write uh, in this format one power three whether it works or not let me just check one power three plus
So it is visible here. So now we we close this here. Okay. So in comment erased. Okay. So I write again program to. Test whether the given number, given number is Armstrong, Armstrong, given number is Armstrong number or not. Okay, so example we were talking about one fifty three. Okay, so one fifty three. If you take, it is one power. Okay, so I use uh, this symbol one power one power three plus five power three plus three power three must be equals to one fifty three. Okay, so one power three is one. Five power three is one twenty five. One twenty five plus one, one twenty six plus three power three. Okay, so three three is a nine. Nine three is a twenty seven. Okay, so one twenty six plus twenty seven. Okay, so one fifty three. Okay, so we are getting one fifty three. Okay, so sum of cubes of individual digits equals to the Given number, okay. So then that number is called the Armstrong number. That number is called the Armstrong number. Okay. So hope uh, you can write the program quickly. Okay. So not to waste the time, what I do is I just uh, copy paste the code. Okay. Then we'll make a uh, changes in this. We'll make changes in this. Okay. So main program. Let us just copy paste. Afterwards, we'll write the function. Okay, right. So I have taken a number n. Okay, so then sum of cubes. He returns no. Okay, so this R is a uh, number returned. Okay, so return number R E N. You can just uh, return number from the function. Okay, so we ask the user to enter a number, and here what we do is we call the function as Armstrong. Okay, so Armstrong number just uh, will. Pass a n as argument to this. Okay, so what it will do is it checks. What it will do is it checks. Uh, see here. So this Armstrong number function. Okay, so what it will do is it checks whether the given number n is Armstrong or not, and uh, returns either true or false value. Returns either. True or false value. Okay, so true or false, it is returning. No, what we do is we call it as a flag because we are not going to check inside the main here. Okay, so directly Armstrong number function, you should uh, with the function name, you should get the meaning. Armstrong number means it checks whether n is Armstrong or not and returns either true or false. Okay, so that flag value we call it as zero or one it returns. So that we call it as flag, and I am catching that in a flag. I am catching that in a flag. Okay, so then you check here. You check here. Okay, so whether flag is equals to 
flag is equals to one. If flag is equals to one, just you print here percentage day LD is an Armstrong number. Percentage LD is an Armstrong number. Armstrong number. Okay. Otherwise, you just uh, say that percentage LD is not an Armstrong number. Percentage LD is not. not an Armstrong number. Okay, so this is how you can uh, design your function. Okay, so then finally say return zero. Okay, so now we define this Armstrong number function. Okay, so it is returning a either zero or one no. So better you can use integer here. Return type you can use integer here. Okay, so int Armstrong, Armstrong, even you can return a, uh, sum of cubes uh, you calculate and that sum you can return and inside the main you can check whether this sum is equal to the given number or not okay but better Armstrong number function means when you define the function name as Armstrong number it should test itself whether it is Armstrong or not test and you it should tell it is Armstrong or num not in terms of uh, either zero or true or false in Programming true or false we implement by using zero or one. True is implemented as one and uh, false is implemented as zero. Okay, so that means it is returning either one or zero. Based on that, you are deciding it is Armstrong or not. Okay, so Armstrong number. Armstrong number. Okay, so then return argument is long number. So, okay, so here. You need a reminder, no? So reminder we required. Okay, so then sum of cubes you need to calculate. So that's why you say sum is equals to zero. Sum is equals to zero. Okay. So now we use just write here while n, while n. So you know sum of digits already we calculated. Sum of digits already we calculated. Okay. So what I do is I. Add this in another case so that when I generate PDF, it will be seen in the next page. Okay, so Y N. So what we need to do, we have to get the reminder. So reminder equal to N mod 10. N mod 10. Okay, so then this. Reminder that means the last digit you will get 153 you will get. Okay, so the three is in a reminder. Okay, so what you have to do, you have to find its a cube and then add it to sum. Find its cube. Okay, so how you can find its cube? You can write reminder multiplied by reminder multiplied by reminder. This is how you can write, or you can also use power function. You can also use a power function here. Okay. So you can use POW function. POW. Okay. Power of reminder, comma, three. Reminder, comma, three. Okay. So it calculates reminder power three. It calculates. Okay. So then that will use cube. Okay. So you add it to sum. Then you say sum plus sum plus power of reminder comma three. Okay, so then this you again store the result back in a sum. Result back in a sum. Okay, so sum is equals to sum is equals to sum plus sum plus power of reminder comma three. Okay, so then reduce n value to next two digit. Okay, so how you can do that? N n slash is equals to ten n slash is equals to 10 okay so then close the while loop so you will get a you will get sum of cubes here okay so sum of cubes here but what is happening here so sum of cubes n bits becoming zero no okay so better what we do is we return the, the sum and we check inside the main okay so it is better then you need to 
change this return value because again here n value is becoming zero okay finally n value is becoming zero original number becoming zero no you cannot test uh, some value and is equal to n that gives wrong uh, output okay so what we do is we modify this and we return a sum here okay so sum of cubes we are returning here here okay so then that uh, sum of cubes we test here so it is returning a sum value you know what i do is i instead of flag i change it to yes yes means some sum value i am getting here okay so i am getting some value here sum of cubes it calculates and returns now i check here whether yes is equals to n or not because n is retained here n remains as it is okay so s is equals to n if true then it is armstrong number otherwise it is not an armstrong number this also okay so here you need to write the prototype no armstrong number instead of reverse you say armstrong number armstrong number long here right yeah any doubts in this these codes if you remember just logic if you remember then you can uh, reproduce the code easily four programs based on the same logic almost uh, right yeah any doubts meanwhile just you uh, post your doubt i'll copy paste this program and we'll see the execution of this whether it works or not okay so i'm copying this we we'll copy into our online compiler okay so i just remove everything from here and i'll paste our code okay so then that function also i'll paste here Okay, so we got the code into online compiler, right? So let us execute this code. Yeah, no doubts. Yeah, I'm just uh, executing the code. Yeah, there is a problem. So, right, power function we are using no math dot h we need to include. Okay, anyhow, so it is giving a warning. You can still continue. Okay, but next time we'll include this. So 153 we'll enter. And we'll see what it prints. 153 is an Armstrong number. 153 is an Armstrong number. Armstrong number is printed. Okay. Right. So you can run another code. Yeah, actually, POW unit. Okay, so some other number, 121, if I enter, let us see whatever is not an Armstrong number. Sum of cubes, 1 cube plus 2 cube plus 1 cube, 121, no? Yeah, if we take a digit number, then we must power it with 4 or 8. So we can do also find a the length of input I put that value in power in place of 3. No, no, it is uh, directly no, no. Sum of cubes we need to calculate. Why unnecessary coding all this? Directly you can use 3. There is no extra logic involved in this. If you add extra logic uh, when already it is known that you have to find power of 3. Cube power you need to calculate. Directly use that number. Okay, don't generate any extra number, extra logic there so that uh, what happens, your program runs for longer time. Your program runs for a longer time. It takes longer time for execution. Okay, so when it is already known, reminder power 3 we require, directly use 3 here. That's it. Okay. If this is giving some problem, please remember because this power function generally returns a 
long time okay written say long time okay so sometimes if this is giving a, a problem so better you write it as reminder into reminder into reminder okay so this is also works and this avoids because reminder is anyhow uh, long no so here also no problem long also big you if you have uh, declared this as integer okay and uh, if you use power function sometimes you may get some problem like we take 1634 then how we do sir what 1634 uh, what do you want to find out abiram we should power with the no no why we should no no one any number you take not only three digit number any number you test any number sum of cubes of individual digits if it is equal to given number then that is called a hamstrong number since i am taking three digit number only you have to do cube four digit number means you have to uh, raise the power to the four no hamstrong number definition is sum of cubes of individual digits is equal to the original number is equal to the original number okay so you can take any number just see here what happens 16 1634 1, if i enter what happens just see here is not an armstrong number is not an armstrong number okay so because 1 cube plus 6 cube plus 3 cube plus 4 cube is not equal to 1634 that's why it is not an armstrong number okay so definition be clear with the definition okay so remainder power 3 yeah that's what remainder into remainder into remainder you can write okay even if you want you can write the definition in your notebooks quickly i am strong number definition i have uh, given that's why i given example in the coding also okay so this also i think i should keep in comments otherwise if you copy everything uh, okay i think you know uh, how to add comments and everything okay so 1 cube plus 5 cube plus 3 cube should be equal to 153 that means given number and uh, sum of cubes both are equal then it is armstrong number that is the meaning of this expression that is the meaning of this expression here okay write down the definition in notebooks if you want right now so these are uh, the logics based on getting individual digits and uh, doing some operations now we'll move on to the first uh, program what we want decimal to binary conversion program we want no so that is what uh, we write now okay so shall i proceed that is our first program decimal to binary conversion that is what we required okay so this is uh, the stuff uh, we discussed as a base to this program flag ah huh? flag why didn't you use flag okay right what happened actually i thought of returning either 0 or 1 from the function and checking it here itself but what is happening inside the function just see here while n finally when this loop exits your n becomes 0 n value becomes 0 and sum contains 153 sum contains 153 yes or no okay so if i check whether n is equals to sum then i get wrong answer then i want to actually i want to return one otherwise else return zero zero or one i want to return from this function okay but what is happening here n value is finally becoming zero okay if i want to do that what i have to do is i have to copy this n value in a temporary variable i have to copy this into a temporary variable i should define a temporary variable like this and before the while loop before the while loop okay so i should write a statement like this temp is equals to n temp is equals to n so that i can save the original number in temporary variable okay so then i can check here whether temp if l if temp is equals to sum then return 1 otherwise return 0 okay so then i can use a flag here in such case okay so then i thought of why unnecessary extra variable here directly we return sum and let uh, the headache goes to the main program 
Okay, right. Hope you got the logic right. Given a number x, determine whether the given number is Armstrong number or not. A positive integer of n digits is called Armstrong number. Okay. Right. Okay. So you can get the definitions in Google even if you uh, type in Google. Yeah. You have any doubt in that definition? Is it clear, Abhiram? Why you posted that? Armstrong number of order n. Okay. Armstrong number of order n. You have copied only half of the definition. Okay. Right. I'll check out. I'll check out this and uh, tomorrow we'll discuss this. Okay. Let us now write a decimal to binary conversion program. Okay. Is it okay? Shall I proceed? Abhiram. I'll surely I will look into that. Definition. Then we'll proceed with this program. Okay, so these codes should be on your fingertips. Please remember, friends. Okay, right. So we'll write one more program. Program. Yeah, program to convert decimal number to binary. Number or decimal to binary conversion program for decimal to binary conversion. You can write the comment in your email. Just notice there. Okay. So, right. So, what I do is I include the header file. Already, mathematical conversion we discussed in yesterday's uh, video. Okay. So, hash include stdio.h include the header file okay so we leave space for a function and then we write the main we write the main here okay so i am taking a, a number decimal number n okay so then i store that in a, a number called as a binary equivalent binary number will store Okay, right. So anything else we require, we'll see. First, of what we do is we ask the user to enter a decimal number. Enter a decimal number. Enter a decimal number. Okay, so user enters this read using the standard function percentage d comma address of uh, yeah okay right so now we have number with us okay so for example if i say the number is five if i say the number is uh, five okay so how you can convert into binary you need to divide with the two go on divide with the two 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 is a four remainder is one okay so then two ones are then remainder is zero. Okay. So then finally, you should, when you implement in program, your number should become zero. No? So two zeros are and finally, remainder will be one. Okay. So from bottom to top, you have to write the remainders I said. Okay. So five in decimal, five base 10 is equals to one zero one in binary. This is the mathematical conversion and we need to write the same in our program okay so for that to do this calculation what we do is we call a function we call a function we call a function as deci to binary deci to binary and we we'll give n to that function okay so what it will do it converts decimal number into binary and returns okay so that i am catching in a b better you use short name here b you take b is nothing but it's binary equivalent here okay so when you print a 
B, it is nothing but the binary equivalent of a given number. Okay, so I am just printing here printf. binary equivalent equivalent of percentage d is percentage d okay comma then first one is n you have to use and second one is binary b you have to use okay so then it prints its binary equivalent then say return zero return zero then close that's it your main is over your main is over okay but here just uh, check out the mathematical logic that is to be generated here okay so what is the logic to be used here just check out here what is happening when you do this uh, first division when you do this first division now see here let me just uh, see here okay so when you do this first time division given number with two the first uh, reminder you are getting here this first reminder is in a units place then the second uh, reminder whatever you are getting is that is in a tens place okay then the third reminder whatever you are getting is that is in hundred place the next reminder should be in thousands place okay so that means each reminder should occupy its place along with its place value that means the place value of this last one will become 100 here okay so you have to multiply each digit with its place value then you will get the binary equivalent number okay so this is directly you can generate the binary equivalent number okay right so you know place values units place is one tens place means 10 hundreds place means hundreds okay so multiply each number with the 